So we've covered our toilet tissue inners and as you can see here I've done several of them. The next stage is to punch holes at one side and I've done it on this one and what I do is I line it up carefully like so. Take a pen and just make a mark. And whatever kind of a hole punch you have, you use that to make your holes. I've, I've used the um, crocodile, the bigger size hole in the crocodile. So I line it up. And Sorry, I couldn't see there. Because it is important to get these punches right or your, your album will be lopsided. Okay, so there's the two holes and they'll all line up together. Now the next thing I want to show you is the actual tag that goes inside. It just slips in like that. So what we need for that is we need some paper cut at three and a half by two and three quarters. And I've just used a plain piece of white cardstock for the inside and then two pieces of the nice patterned paper for the outside. They're all cut at three and a half by two and a half. So quite simply stick the three pieces of paper together. And then I've used um, the corner rounder to round the edge of the tags. It's a little bit um, stiff because obviously the glue is still wet. So it's best to leave the glue dry before going in and doing this stage. And like with everything else, I like to take the white edge off. So I'm just running the dabber that has the red ink around the edge, like that. And what I've done is every alternative one, I've used a button and then I've used a ribbon. So this one is going to take a ribbon just so that it's not too bulky. So I have a little pre-made bow here and I'm going to put it on and I'm using clear gloss by Anita's. This is available in Mora McNamara shop here in Limerick um, in Lower Gerald Griffin Street. So just centralise that. Now and that'll take a little while to dry so I'm going to put this away while we get on with the rest of it. Now, um, this is the second cover and what I'm going to do now is embellish the cover and I'm going to keep it quite simple because um, these little albums get a lot of handling so I think less is best and what I've decided to do is to take a piece of burlap because I like using burlap especially with this kind of paper, it ties in well and I'm taking two of these little poncetta flowers and placing them one on top of the other and I'm going to put that there like that. I've taken a button and just put a little piece of green ribbon through it and that will sit in the centre here and then I have a flourish. The flourish is this particular flourish. Again this is available in Mora McNamara shop in Lower Gerald Griffin Street here in Limerick. 
and what I've done is I've just cut it into pieces so you can get a few embellishments out of one of the die cuts and I'm simply going to pop that in underneath there and then I'm using this brass uh, plate this is a Tim Holt brass plate and I've just put two little brads in and I've coloured them red with a sharpie pen which is a permanent pen and that's going to sit here like that and then I have taken a stamp that says it's Christmas and what I'm going to do is this is a scrap piece of paper left over from another project so I'm going to ink up the stamp and then I'm going to press it here Here we have, it's Christmas. So it's best to pick up your plate and measure it and see where you want it. So about here is fine. Um, okay, I'm going to make a little mark so that I know where I'm cutting it. that we can pop it behind so I'm simply just going to stick that onto the back of the plate 